Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, it's Reggae and it's a survey day because it's time for a servery video. Servery, that's um, that, well that's, that's more like a server than a survey, but whatever, it's time to answer the Battle Cat's big user survey down at my bottom left hand corner. I actually um, filled this out on my computer only to find out that wasn't actually the correct place to do it, so now I'm going to fill it out on device and I'm doing this in a video just so while I do it, I can discuss with you guys what we sort of want from Battle Cats and maybe you can learn a bit more about how I got into it. So I'm going to click on it and see where it takes me. So after about 10 hours of loading, it's finally shown me the survey and here it is. The Battle Cats user survey 2016. So it hasn't got the big anymore. We want to know who you are and how we can make better games for you to enjoy. All responses will be kept confidential, so please answer honestly and help us plan the future of the Battle Cats and new Ponos games. Well, this won't be entirely confidential because it's in a video, but whatever. Let's start survey. So, oh. what languages do you speak? Well, I speak English, usually. Uh, well, I don't really speak any other ones fluently. I'm learning some other ones. Which region best describes where you live? Well, actually, I think you'll find that's UK and Ireland. What's your gender? Ah, well, that would be telling, wouldn't it? How old are you? Ah. As old as time. Or probably a bit younger. Which best describes your field of work study? Primary school student, yes, definitely. University student, except there's no secondary school student. That's, that's strange. Computers and technology, arts, design, retail and service industry, teaching and education, manufacturing, government and military, media and publishing, medical, homemaker, I prefer not to answer. Um, media and publishing, I guess, because YouTube is what I do. I don't make any kind of living out of it, but I enjoy doing it. Which platforms do you most often use to play games? Uh, I use a tablet. Uh, I don't don't have a PlayStation 4 or a Vita. I don't really play it much. Uh, and Mac. Good. How long have you been playing Battle Cats? People ask me that. I genuinely don't know. But it's not since the game's released, so I'm going to click more than one year. How often do you play the Battle Cats? Well, actually, almost every day. How much time do you spend playing the Battle Cats in a typical session? Uh, it depends. I'm going to go 15 to 30 minutes, probably. Where do you usually play games on your mobile device? At home? Outdoors? No, heaven forbid! Oh wait, Pokemon Go. Uh, riding the bus, train, yeah, again, Pokemon Go. Riding in the car, again, Pokemon Go. While travelling, Pokemon Go. Breaks at school, work well, Pokemon Go. Cafe, restaurant, bar, no, I never go to those places, I have no money. Um, I'm going to choose at home. Uh, riding on bus, train, I guess. Yes, I'll go outdoors just for Pokemon Go. Right, question 12. What times of day do you most often play the Battle Cats? Select up to two. Uh, I record these probably in the evening because I can never be bothered to do it in the morning because I am not a very motivated person. Uh, let's say, I, I don't know. Morning as well sometimes when I get up to try and wake myself up, play a bit of Battle Cats. Have you ever bought extra in-app content in a mobile game? Yes, I have once or twice, accidentally in my naive youth. Silly me. Have you ever bought cat food, starter packs, rank up packs, etc. in the Battle Cats? No, I have not, and I require not to because I am such a pro at this game. That that was a joke. Question 8. Have I, have I not filled in something? Oh! I didn't... <laughs> I didn't fill in question A. You, you're probably shouting at me while I missed that one. Okay, um, what was the last regular stage you cleared in the Battle Cats? Empire Cats, chapter 1, 2, 3, done that. Done into the future. Done Risque Terrain, Volcanos Volcano, Parthenon, and I've done Silk Road. Scars of War is the next stage after Battle Royale, and I haven't quite started Battle Royale yet. So, Silk Road is the one. What was the last regular stage? Yep, that's the one. And hopefully I can proceed now. Let's go. Wait for it to load. There we go. Excellent. Quick loading. Have you played the Battle Cats? Pop! As a million people in the comments section asked me, no, I have not. Because I don't have a 3DS, nor a capture card, nor the intuition to go and get it because it might not work and I'd be worried about that. 
Well, how did you first learn about the Battle Cats? Well, actually, as it turns out, it's not a YouTube Let's Play advertisement, Battle Cats Wiki, Reddit, anything like that. It's, in fact, a friend's recommendation. A friend was playing it and they were like, Look, cats! So, so yeah, that, that, was, that was how it went. Which of the following sites and services do you regularly use or visit? Well, I have no friends, so not Facebook, or Twitter, or Instagram, or Snapchat. YouTube, yes, I, I generally go on YouTube. No idea what Line is. WhatsApp, no. Viber, no idea what that is. Reddit, well, I guess so for Battle Cat stuff. Twitch, eh, some live streams, I guess. No idea what Mob Crush is. What made you most interested in playing the Battle Cats? Choose up to three. Uh, well, funny, cool characters, because they said, look, cats! And I was like, wow, cats. Uh, popular with friends, I guess. Never played any, any other Ponos games, so not that. Easy to play, it didn't become really apparent as easy to play. It, you have to learn quite a lot of stuff. I mean, the base of it is easy to play. Um, uh, I'm not sure if I found it extremely exciting looking. I'd say it looked more easy to play than exciting the first time I saw it. Obviously, it gets more exciting the further you get because the friend was, I don't know, on, on chapter one Empire of Cats, so it, right at the start. But what do you think of the difficulty of Battle Cats? Well, it goes up as your cats go up, so just enough challenge. Although for me, too difficult probably. How happy are you with the following elements of Battle Cats? Uh, challenge, strategy. Uh, well, so, some of it, some of it's RNG, as I've been informed, the random, random number generator or random number god who looks down at you and frowns and gives you bad numbers. Somewhat happy. Um, battle system, pretty happy with that. Game interface, there are some mistakes, but I'm quite happy with that. Character design is on point. I saw someone commenting on Thumbdeer with a certain phrase, jiggle physics, which I thought was quite funny. I'm going to go somewhat happy for that. Events and collaborations, I like them, but some people were very disappointed with the fungi and cat um, near Mushroom Garden collaboration. Music, yeah, it's all right. I like the da 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 of Into the Future, so I'll be happy with that. User support. Well, I sent Ponos an email a long time ago, and they have not yet replied, so I am going to be very unhappy with that. Bad Ponos, please reply to me. Oh dear, it's a shame. Question twenty two. Which limited events do you wish happen more often in the Battle Cats? Choose up to three. Item pack or cat fruit sales? Uh, no, because I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spend my own money. Rare capsules, twenty percent off. No, not really. Treasure festivals. I've, I've got all the treasure. Half off energy events. Yes, that's good. Especially, right? Especially. Can't stress this enough. The metal cats one, which allowed me to get fifteen cat tickets in one hour, which was brilliant. So that's good. Fifty percent off items. That's quite good. I like getting more battle formations, I guess, um, but I don't know, it's not especially as much. First time discounts on rare capsules are nice, I guess. I might click that one, and of course the guaranteed 11 draw uber rare is very important to me. What's your current user rank? It's about 3,800, so 3,601 to 4,000. How many Uber Air cats have you unlocked? Uh, I have actually got 11 as of extreme luck I got while opening two Rare Cat tickets. I got an Uber both times. I was like, whoa, what's this? It's brilliant. So yes, I have 11 Ubers currently. Which Uber Air set is your favorite? Now I've got no idea. Uh, probably, um, I don't know. Uh, uh, because Oda was my first Uber, I'm just gonna vote on the, I think, uh, 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 the, 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 I think Oda comes from there. If he doesn't, please don't shout at me. What would you most like to see Battle Cats in the future? Now, this is something I wanted to talk to you all about, which is why I'm recording this. This is an important thing. Need to, need to know about this. So... I need to, I, well I don't need to, I'd like to know what you want, because I know what I want. I would personally like fully offline play because the internet and the energy setting is so irritating because it does not work. I mean, ugh, it just never gets your energy right. 
more language support. Well, my language is supported, even if it's not British English, American English, I can read. Uh, leaderboard, no, not really, because I'd be bottom of it. More collaboration events, maybe. More stories of legend, uh, there are plenty of them for me to get through. More story mode chapters, boom, in the room, yes, please. I want more of those. Into the Future was a blast after Empire of Cats came out. I was like, yes, more chapters, brilliant. I'd love, love more story mode chapters. That is what story mode is, isn't it? The Into the Future and Empire of Cats, I think so. Uh, new unit abilities, well, there are lots of abilities, but actually I would like to see different ones. But versus mode is obviously a massive highlight, especially because I can't get Battle Cats pop. And there hasn't been the biggest of successes, because there isn't apparently much difficulty to the game. Apparently you can get rare cats extremely easily. Fully offline play I do want, but I reckon what I actually want more is new unit abilities, because it's always fun to have new stuff to mix up the game. So, question 27. Which Battle Cats products would you buy if they became available in your country? Oh yeah, just to mention, I you know I went on a little rant you just heard just now about the energy. On the computer when I did the survey, I did fill in the, um, the fully offline play, so don't worry about that. I have registered one vote for that. What Battle Cats products would you buy if they became available in the country? I asked myself again. Uh, well, I like plushies, but I might not actually buy them, but I'll, I'll tick it to make Ponos feel good. Not going to buy a soundtrack CD, I could just record it off the device. Uh, probably wouldn't wear Battle Cats clothing, people look at me very strangely. Question 28. What type of character design would you like to see appear more often in the Battle Cats? Choose up to three. Uh, ooh. Uh, I like vehicle ones, even though I don't really have any. Uh, cute and funny, definitely. Uh, and animals. Animals are fun. Aside from Battle Cats, what mobile games you played most in the past month? Oh look, it's that one. Question 30. Who would you like to have the Battle Cats collaborate with in the future? Games, characters, IPs, whatever that is. Uh, there is one thing I would really like them to collaborate with. Unlikely, but it's always worth asking. Final question, any other thoughts, opinions, or requests you'd like to share with Ponos? Well, here's the thing. Ponos is sort of uh, Dubri, can't remember what it's called, ethos, I guess, their user agreement says you can't make money out of Battle Cats, meaning you can't monetize Battle Cats videos, and at the moment, that doesn't bother me too much. I like, like thinking that I'm a wholesome YouTuber, not forcing ads upon you, you can watch these videos without ads, but sooner or later, I doubt I have enough subscribers to, but I would like to make some sort of living from it, that that would be nice, and if anybody does, like Nurse Whiffer has a lot more subscribers than I do, if Nurse Whiffer wanted to make a living out of Battle Cats, he wouldn't be able to, because you can't monetize Battle Cats videos. So that is one thing that I would definitely want, and that is to be able to monetize Battle Cats videos, because it's really unfair them saying that you can't do that, because there are loads of brilliant Battle Cats YouTubers, I don't consider myself particularly brilliant, but there are loads of Battle Cats YouTubers doing great videos, and it would benefit them to let people make videos, but that's just my opinion. If you watch this Ponos, the very vague chance that you do, please let people do that, because that's actually what I sent the email about that you haven't replied to, so uh, it'd be nice if you replied, but yes, that's what I'm going to put in the box. Smiley face. Right. Submit! So I hope you have enjoyed this survey filling in. Please let me know in the comment section what answers you put to things. And if you disagree or agree with me on anything, I would be interested to look at it. And yes, announcements, they're still coming. Just have to wait. <laughs> Just building suspense. Hopefully you'll feel suspenseful. See you soon.